now let now let's see continue the video now we are in our last video we completed uh, up to the student controller part okay we have uh, complete up to our student controller part okay now we let me continue the video now first what i'm going to do is here this is the first function will be the index function we have tried the view here this is the laravel 10 standard now what i'm going to do is after we let's go to the documentation here you have a index function so okay first what i'm going to do is you have to return the student details okay so first what i'm going to do is i'm going i have created the variable which is students equal where i'm going I'm, I'm going to get the data from the database database so we have in order to communicate with the database we have a model you can see inside the model folder there will be the uh, file which is a uh, page which is a student this is a page where we, we communicate with the database and fetch the data from the database and uh, pass it to the controller. So here students, this variable I have created equal to get the data from the models folder. Here the student, all we getting all the data. Return view we have to view to the we have students stu, view students index. We have already created the variable. Uh, folder which is a student, you have to make it as this is students. Okay, right. Students index, we have to get the data in this page. Okay, we have to get the data in this page along with the these are the values we have to pass it. You have to get the, all the values from the database and you have to pass it to this variable. This variable you are passing here and here this is the we have to pass in the data. Right, so what I'm going to do is we have to go to the index.blade.php page i'm going to have a design okay simple design we have to make the design index of this page right and paste it don't write this all the source code you can get in from this website and you just going to paste it right so here if you are going to if i design this one using the html it take too much of time to complete this project yeah that's why i just uh, this one I'm going to I just paste it right the student application right so here you can see here first extend the student layouts layouts I already we have to we have right here students layout here layouts are there so layout okay student layout uh, here layout file is there now here this is the index page this index page we are returning the data from where the database okay here Return the data from the controller. It will be communicate the model and load the data and pass this variable. When the page is loaded, index students index page, it, it, it load along with this data. Right? That's the thing it will be doing. It will be passing to the index page. Okay. So index page, there is a table. This table consists of name, address, mobile number, the following columns. This is the action. Okay, action is consists of edit and delete two buttons. So you can you can see here. I say edit button. So the data is passing to this T body inside the T body. We have wrote the for loop for each loop. So you have to get the data. So students, you are here. You can see here. If you are passing the student like this, this variable you have to assign it here. It will be load the data. It, it, you are whatever if you open this form this page it will be getting here the students passing and it will be passing one by one this is a plural the it will be this plural means the all the data will be students data this collection will be coming as a plural it is getting one by one so that we have right item so you write first first one it will be we are doing the increment part after that name the student has a name address and mobile after that we have a button which is a view edit and delete button we have a three buttons and along with here this loop is started here the loop is closed here right that's it at the end you have to write an end section so it is not uh, inside the student folder we no, we don't we don't have a layout so we have to get rid of the students just keep layout the layout file is inside this folder so layout right now let's file save all now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to uh, go to the routes that's a route, web.php.
here I am going to add the student route. This is, this is a, a resource controller. So you have to add it here. I am going to explain it. You can add it here. Route resources slash student. If the URL is coming slash student, it goes to the controller student controller. Right? You have to give the path. Yeah, your uh, student control resided. Your, your, your student control resided on inside the app folder. There is a folder which is HTTP. Inside the HTTP controllers and student controller. You can see here student controller. You have to write like this. Then only it works. Right? Now file save all. Now what I'm going to do is you have to go back to my index page. Uh, my layout page. This is my layout page. Here layout page. Uh, that's my index this page sorry right index page right so here we have a student we have to get rid of the students right so we have to our layout is inside the view here outside the student folder so we have to write like this layout now what i'm going to see here this one we no need them here layout page we have, we, we have everything here all things are there so, uh, nine all things are there okay this is the column we are separated so we know neither content and everything have get rid of these lines right so yield content this content it will be there in here this is the content this content section we have control the container we have to remove this container row and everything we have to remove we no need them here we have to remove these three div tags right only we keep these things card and the, the inside the uh, things only works, right? Now let's save all. Uh, now let's check back how the uh, user interface look like. Let's go here, slash students, not students, students. Here, it's working perfectly well. Here, it's coming perfectly well. Here, it's working well. Now, if you want to make any changes, you will be able to make any changes. Here, you have right, student management system, student application. After the if you click the student, it goes to the student page. If you click the teacher, it goes to the teacher's page. Right? Now we have, we have complete this task. After that, we have to move into the teacher's part. Right? Now what I'm going to do is after that, after done all the stuff, now I'm going to go to, uh, we already done this all the things. Right? Now let's go moving to, moving to the chapter uh, is create the record. So let's go to the student controller. Okay? Now here was first what I'm going to do is inside the function we have to uh, paste this code simple code I just copy this one we have to go to my create page blade you have to paste the layouts here you have to put the layout layout you get rid of this line only keep the content right okay. now here in our control section the create method what you are going to do is you have to go to our controller section first you have to view the controller so we have return view students create student create when you click the add, add new button it's called the student controller create method after that we have to save the record you have to use the store method you have to write like this right this is to here now what i'm going to do is here in create also we have to miss a view here also this is a response you have to write here redirect response after record is saved successfully you have to get the message as yes, redirect response yes student add right so that's a simple stuff you have to do it now here what you are going to do is here this is the form okay when the form is coming you are this all things you have to write uh, you have to fill Student name, address, and mobile. After the click save button, it goes to the student controller. Put so the student controller. It take the create student create here. Get all the values request and put in the input variable. After that, Laravel has a create method. This what are the values coming? We have to assign it here. We have to get the flash message as student end. That's the thing you have to, we have done. Now let's check it. Let's refresh it. Click add new button. Uh, what's student create? Problem is here, student create. 
So here you have to write as students create, right? So here, yeah, the problem is the students. So here you can see go to the index or trade or PHP. Here you have to give one here as a not students, your yeah, students. Okay, you have to give here students create. Okay, save all and again go to the create page here also students. Here you have to give the students, right? So let's go save all and go back to our right now here I'm going to student uh, what you're going to so sorry students right now here click on this add new here the form is successfully displayed now I'm going to fill the form as John India phone number something like that click save button uh what is the uh, this is students sorry we are go to our control section okay yeah, this one redirect to students okay that's the problem now you can see the database it is added so let's going to add another record students okay it's added successfully i had a problem with the ur now again i'm going to add the record as peter uh, address I'm going to give us India phone number something like that. Click hit save button. Now it's added. Perfect. Right, it's working perfect. I'll be seeing my next video tutorial how to view the I have done it so far. How to add the record and how to view the record. In our next video tutorial, how to edit the, edit the record and delete the record. We will teach about my next video tutorial. Thank you for watching.